بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم Rebel by that which is better and thereupon the one whom between you and him is enmity will become as though he was a devoted friend. Welcome to episode 11 of Ramadan series on gratitude brought to you by Solace Islamic Mental Health Services. Musa was ready to stop running on the treadmill feeling exhausted to the point of collapse. However, his fitness coach insisted that he must go on. He looked very evil to Musa at that time, but Musa went on, kept pushing himself, kept running. He is now a national champion in running. Well, we all are Musas in this life and the difficult people are fitness coaches. In this episode, we are going to be exploring a challenging yet incredibly rewarding aspect of gratitude, appreciating the difficult people in our lives. Think about it. It's easy to feel thankful for those who bring us joy and comfort, but what about those who test our patience, challenge our views, or simply make our lives a bit harder than we would want? One of my favorite scholars once said, it's easier to stand and pray the Hajjad at night, but very difficult to patch up with the one who breaks up with you. There's something remarkable about difficult people in our lives. Had they not been there, we would not have recognized our own potentials. While trying to test our patience, they actually increase our stamina, make us stronger and resilient. Think about the last time someone broke your heart. Didn't you cry and then turn back to Allah? Wasn't that an opportunity to strengthen your relationship with Allah? Or think about that supervisor who never approved your draft without rejecting it 10 times. The final draft you produced, wasn't that a masterpiece? Or think about those in-laws who never seem satisfied with how you manage household, insisting on their ways of doing things. Didn't their nagging feedback, challenging as it was, eventually led you to discover new efficient routines and recipes that now earn you compliments from everyone else? Or that annoying boss or the stubborn neighbor or the business partner or just the random auntie down the street? Did they all not make you somewhat better than what you were earlier? Today's journal activity is a bit lengthy, but I know you can do it. Number one, think of someone who seems to always push your buttons, whether it's a colleague, family member or neighbor. Consider how your interactions with this person have strengthened your patience, empathy, or perhaps even your ability to forgive. Number two, recall a moment when dealing with a difficult person led to a personal revelation or growth. Maybe it was finding strength you never knew you had or learning to communicate more effectively under pressure. Number three, and it is a difficult one, make dua for those who challenge you. Praying for their well-being and guidance can change your heart towards them and invite Allah's assistance in improving your relationship. Finally, whenever possible, express gratitude directly to them. Acknowledge their role in your personal development. This can transform your relationship and create a path to mutual respect and understanding. Remember that gratitude for difficult people in our lives is not about dismissing our feelings or condoning negative behavior. It's more about recognizing the role that these individuals play in our spiritual and personal growth the role they play in making us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by applying the teachings of Islam to these relationships, we can uncover hidden blessings and develop qualities like patience, empathy, and forgiveness. Today, let us choose to see challenging individuals in our life, not as obstacles, but as opportunities to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and deeper gratitude.